Hey, you get my text? City Hall is... This is bad, man. Head in there now. Yeah, sorry. Things got complicated. I'll be there soon. Do you think this is Harry? It has to be. I just saw him in Queens. He turned MJ into one of those symbiotes, but... worse. What? She's okay. She broke out of it. Luckily, faster than I did. Connors thinks I had the suit on too long, and now some of it is left inside of me. You really meant it when you said things were complicated. One thing at a time. See you soon, Miles. I hear that. See you. Reminds me, I owe someone else a call. Peter? Hey, Ms. Morales. You, uh, make it home safe? I was just, you know, I, I wanted to make sure... We're fine. We're fine. And Peter, we're fine, too. But next time, answer my calls. Trust me. I'll be on my best behavior. You'd better be. Now go help my son. Folks, you're not going to believe this, but as always here, it is absolute truth. Gooey black monsters have begun popping up around the city. I repeat, monsters are in our city, propagating and disseminating to ends unknown. We've heard numerous accounts of missing persons, families torn apart, friends and loved ones mysteriously disappearing. But now believe we can shed some light on the culprits. These vile creatures appear to be abducting us. For what nefarious purpose, we don't know yet. Now, more than ever, we need to look out for each other. Don't go out alone, unless it's an emergency. You could be next. I fear the worst is yet to come. All right, updates. Just found a fascinating research blog from a top Morningside professor. She's calling the creatures we're seeing throughout the city symbiotes, because they live symbiotically with their host. Folks, this is scary. This is real. But keep courage. Check the description for a map of shelters throughout the city and evacuation plans for the elderly and high risk. The Spider-Men are out there fighting for us, but we gotta keep meeting them halfway. We'll get through this. Together.
There was still some of this thing inside him. I see. I think I can clear it out of him. But only if I go to the source. I'm going in with you. What's the plan here, Lee? Find Spider-Man. All of this dark matter should lead us toward him. Alright. On my way. Where are we, anyway? We are inside Spider-Man's mind. I've seen what those creatures do to people around the city. They get in your head. Twist your desires. Mad they stole your routine? I know you're joking, but you're making my point. This thing fears my power for some reason. And I, we, are the only ones who can find where it lives. So we clear this thing out at the root, and Spider-Man's free? That's the plan. All right, then. It has a stronger hold on him than I thought. All right, weaken the symbiote, take back control, use our powers to save Spider-Man. Where do we start? We have to find the source of his pain. Follow me, I'll try and lead you to where it's darkest. But I can't promise what we'll find. sense why Spider-Man would think about this place. Most of us are here because of him. He's protecting New York. Yes. Maybe not every problem is solved with the cell. You think I don't know that? Get in! 
Come on! God, nothing's working! I can't slow them down! We have to keep fighting! Everyone he puts away! They keep coming back! It must be frustrating! Putting criminals away just for them to escape and cause more pain! It's part of the job! He knows that! What is? Believing in second chances! It's like they never stop! All. The problem is solved. That's not what Pete thinks. No, but it might be how he feels. All these villains. He really thought the suit could solve it all. Is that... You cause a lot of pain, man. The debt I will spend the rest of my life repaying. There's something up ahead. You're close. May's house. I haven't asked Pete about her in a long time. What's wrong with me? When you get caught up in one part of your life, it's easy for the rest to fall away. chance to make it up to her then I feel something upstairs your power does have the same effect in here yeah, I guess it does. place. This will probably be the closest I'll ever get to seeing the inside of it again. Not that I deserve to. Lee, why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. Norman Osborne's the reason my parents are dead. So I dedicated my life to making his hell. Instead, you lost your father. Peter lost me. Now, I was too stubborn to see I had become what I despised most. I'm sorry, Miles. Up there. That's the source. If we clear this out, we just might be able to save him. can transfer all of my power into the symbiote. I think I can neutralize it. And free Peter. What'll happen to you? I guess we'll find out. 
Well, if this is my last chance to say anything to you, I won't forgive you. It's just not in me. But I can't carry this hate for you anymore, man. So let's set things right. You and me. Sometimes. I'm not sure I make a convincing hero. Won't know until you try. symbiote that's inside. He had to drain his power into it to save you. But it looks like it had an effect. Wait! You two work together? He wasn't about to let you die. Miles, that's... After so many times saying it, thank you seems soft. 
It's okay. I know. I don't deserve that kid. This again! We lost you. Guess I should thank you. I spent years of my life consumed with vengeance and lost everything for it. You two reminded me that that's not who I am. When you help someone, you help everyone. Where are you gonna go? To set things right. Your way. Wow. Reforming your greatest enemy. Can't say I've ever done that. Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? I don't know. This city still looks like a two Spider-Man job to me. Not yet. Ran into a speed bump. I think Miles just saved my life. What? What happened? There was symbiote left inside of me. It started taking over, but Martin Lee gave me his power. It feels different. Like the voices are gone, but the power is still there. That's incredible. And Pete, just wanted to let you know, I got my byline pulled off that article and gave my landlord notice. Does that mean? It means the world is going to get turned into an alien wasteland. And there's no one I'd rather be gooed up with than you. Oh, the feeling's mutual. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Harry. I'll let you know if I hear anything. OK, while I look for Harry, I should see what else needs some spidey help. In the midst of the most unprecedented time in modern history, a hero rises to change his costume? What award show is Spider-Man hosting that he feels the need to change his outfit so frequently instead of providing any kind of meaningful assistance to the authorities? I don't know what his game is, but he seems to be more preoccupied with his wardrobe than the impending doom this city faces. As these creatures terrorize the streets, take comfort in knowing that the Spider-Men have sleek new outfits to wear to make sure they look their best for the end of the world. Has it ever been clearer? They do not care about us. Selfish, egotistical sociopaths. 
I'll tell you. In all my years, I would have not guessed that this is what I'd be reporting on as the world ended around us. But life is unpredictable. The only thing we can count on is the Spider-Man. Only doing what's best for them. 